Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Got Matt helping me. He's on the camera. Uh, we're still taking engines apart. What I have right here is a Ford GPW uh, L head cylinder head, and we've got a new Magnaflux uh, magnet and uh, powders in the shop now. So we just finished Magnafluxing this head, both sides, everywhere. We looked for cracks and we did not find anything. So this is a very good Ford. Can you see the F? Yep, man. Okay, so, and we got another F over here. This is a good Ford cylinder head if anybody needs it. This is going on the mill tomorrow, and I am going to take a light pass off the ceiling surface on the other side and uh, make it ready to bolt on your engine. So if anybody could use a GPW cylinder head, this will be available as of tomorrow. You can still see some of the powder from the Magnafluxin. Uh, just going to surface this area and it will be ready to box up and ship. So uh, just leave me a comment below or contact me and uh, let me know if you need it. These normally don't hang around or last too long. So if you need it, get a hold of me. And um, we're going to uh, do a little bit of Magnafluxin and show you how to look for cracks in your engine next. We're going to get the camera set up and be right back with you. Okay guys, we got an L head that I took out of the cleaning solution today. Took it outside. Uh, gave it a real good pressure washing uh, through all the cooling system and uh, got all the grease and grime and junk off it. Uh, Matt is going to put some powder, some magnetic powder on this deck surface right now. Uh, we're using red. You can see it's going down now. And uh, we're going to start checking for cracks on the deck surface here. Let's see if I can get closer for you. You making it happen, Matt? Yep. Okay. Okay, now we got the uh, Magnaflux um, yoke magnet. We're going to stick that on there. We're going to search around for a crack. We'll see what Matt can find for us. We're going to put it in a bunch of different directions uh, to try and, try and make that uh, magnetic powder stand up in the crack. Got something here. What we got? Let me zero in on it. Hang on. Oop. Hang in there. You see that? Grab a pointer there. Grab one of those little pointers. See if you can point it out, and I'll try and zoom in on it. Right there. Yeah, okay. Now now hit it with the... Oh, I'm all the way out. Hit it with the magnet again. See if we can get it. We'll see if we can see the particle standing up. Hope you guys can see that. That's as much as I can zoom out in there. Hang in there. Okay, I, I can see it, and, and we can see it clearly here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Matt's going to point at it again. You see it going down right into that bolt hole? It's just just going into that bolt hole right there, and it's in the cooling jacket. So that's one crack. And then it looks like another one right here as well. When you find them, Matt, clear off the, clear off the powder, and then outline them in yellow so we know where they are. Okay, so we got one on... The, the, the bottom side here of the, the cooling port there. And we got one at the top too that Matt found one at the top with the magnet. So just see if you can mark that. Okay, it's right in there. And right in there. Okay. So we're off to a bad start, but that's all right. Let's keep moving on. See what else we can find here. More powder. Looks 
It's like another one here. Okay, point at it. Let me zoom in on it, Matt. Okay, Matt found another one. Hang on. Oop. Hang in there, everybody. Let me get this camera situated. Okay, I'm all the way zoomed out, Matt. See if you can point. Oh, God, yeah, we can see it. Yeah, we can see it. Okay, hit the magnet again. Okay, you see all the particles kind of stand up where that is. Okay, Matt, circle that one now. Okay, at this point, a lot of guys would probably take this block and throw it out and look for another one. And you might go through a bunch of blocks before you find a good one. Or, what's kind of was kind of a pain right now is a lot of guys are running to those Chinese blocks and if you're in the market for an L head block I think you've probably heard of the Chinese ones um, I don't know if you've heard good stories or bad but I've heard numerous bad stories about them uh, I would never use a Chinese block I would use a fixed original block before I went to a Chinese one and Matt has me kind of convinced that other people feel the same way so I'm going to fix this L head block I'm going to pressure test it and I'm going to make sure it holds uh, pressure and uh, the cooling system is, is, is fine because that's where our cracks seem to be all in the cooling system and uh, this block will be for sale and I'm going to try and put a bunch of L head blocks out there I've got a bunch of cores in I'm going to put L head blocks out there for sale uh, I'd appreciate some comments on how you'd like to get a block if you would like the seats cut if you would like the guides installed, uh, the core plugs installed, or, or anything else, uh, it'd be helpful if I knew what people were looking for so I could try and get out um, uh, the parts that you need. So before you go with a Chinese block, if there's anybody out there that is not, that doesn't feel good about Chinese blocks, and they're putting together a piece of American history and they don't want to use a Chinese block, I'm trying to get these out. Uh, quickly but with good quality so um, this one needs to be decked it needs to be bored uh, I was planning on putting the guides and cutting the seats but uh, leave it in the comments below what you'd like if you were gonna buy a block okay we're gonna reposition the block we found three cracks on the top we're gonna reposition it and see if we find any more okay guys we don't really need to powder on this but we're gonna show you anyway what a crack looks like with the powder uh, we've got a fairly long crack there and Matt's gonna powder it up put the magnetic powder on there and there's always trouble around that distributor uh, but, but uh, this one's up kinda high alright you get in here? yeah go for it I'm in there okay you could clearly keep the magnet on a second you can clearly see that crack show up Matt's gonna hold it a few different ways you can clearly see that magnetic powder go right for, into the crack and this is uh, this is a time saver from doing the uh, the penetrant test. Yeah, we got there it pretty go. good. Yeah, we got it. We got it real good there, Matt. Okay, uh, hit below the uh, just check below the distributor there. Yep. That's common area. Seeing anything? Nope. Okay, so we're not in too bad a shape. We're going to flip it over and we're going to uh, check around the other side. Okay, we got all our cracks identified. And this crack, like the last one on the F head, uh, goes down into the seat. So I popped the seat out and we're going to get in here on an angle and we're going to drill and stop this crack head all the way out here stitch that up real nice and this will be pressure tested just like the F head and we'll make sure it's good before it heads out to the uh, to the world and like I say uh, anybody has any feedback on how they'd like their um, engines or blocks uh, I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of need for blocks these days seems like everybody needs one uh, I am fixing them, and if you're interested, uh, just uh, send me a comment below, 
and uh, try and make things happen for you. Uh, I've got another F head over there that's ready to be bored. I have one that is bored already and is ready for honing and a lot of stuff going on in the engine rebuilding world right now so um, if anybody has any uh, engine part needs uh, just let me know. So just a short one for today and uh, tomorrow uh, I've got some sandblasting to do but we will take care of that um, GPW head and um, we'll keep moving on with some engine work and uh, uh, it's been pretty rainy today and uh, a little bit the rest of the week, but uh, when the weather gets nicer, we'll continue on with the uh, paint booth build and a lot going on around here in the springtime. Uh, chickens will be here soon and uh, strawberries are going in and things like that. So uh, a lot going on around the farm and a shop. So I appreciate everybody watching and I will catch you on the next video.